The Salton Sea is the most pressing public health and environmental health hazard in Southern California. The Salton Sea is California's largest lake, measuring over 300 square miles across Imperial County and Riverside County, which I represent. The Salton Sea is largely dependent on water from the Colorado River that makes its way through the Coachella Valley to the sea as agricultural runoff. Over the past decades, the shoreline of the Salton Sea has been receding, a result of water management policies in California and worsening and persistent drought in the western United States. The receding shoreline has exposed a lake bed littered with salts, chemicals, and natural occurring elements like selenium and chromium. When the high desert winds pick up this dust and bring it into the communities of the Coachella Valley, my constituents breathe this particulate matter, which can permeate the walls of their bloodstream and cause a number of chronic health issues. My constituents face some of the highest rates of asthma in California. As an emergency medicine physician, I know firsthand the effects that particulate matter has on the human body. In order to address this public health hazard, I have been calling for an all hands on deck approach to putting shovels in the ground at the Salton Sea. When I was elected, there was no plan, no money, and no projects at the Salton Sea. Now we have California's Salton Sea Management Program, a comprehensive plan to address the sea, over 300 million in state and federal funding, ongoing projects such as the Species Conservation Habitat Pro Project, but we must continue to do more. That means bringing significant federal funding to match California's efforts to construct habitat restoration and dust suppression efforts. The federal government owns 40% of the land under and around the Salton Sea. Let me repeat that, 40%. And the federal government plays a critical role in land management through agencies such as the Bureau of Reclamation. In fact, the Reclamation's fiscal year 21 budget request acknowledge that a failure to act on the exposed federally owned shoreline at the sea could result in a liability under the Clean Air Act in the hundreds of millions of dollars. But we are making progress, and I won't stop until every one of my constituents can breathe clean air and have access to clean water. Last fall, we secured the first congressional hearing on the Salton Sea in 23 years, thanks to you, Chairman. Today, we're having another and considering meaningful legislation to make a difference in the lives of Californians. During the hearing last fall, California Natural Resources Secretary Wade Crawford stated unequivocally to this committee that efforts to mitigate the decline of the Salton Sea will not be successful without a robust federal partnership. My bill that we are considering here today will help do exactly that. The Salton Sea Projects Improvement Act significantly expands the Bureau of Reclam Reclamation's authority to participate in large-scale Salton Sea restoration and mitigation projects. Specifically, my legislation authorizes Reclamation to carry out projects at the Salton Sea to improve air quality, fish and wild habitat, recreational opportunities, and water quality. This bill allows Reclamation to build on their current work by partnering with the state, local governments, tribes, nonprofits such as Audubon, and universities. Under current law, the Bureau of Reclamation has reached their spending cap for salt and sea projects, and passage of this legislation is critical to keeping and growing the federal investment at the Salton Sea. My bill authorizes $250 million for the Salton Sea projects I just described, which will allow Reclamation to make meaningful investments in the public health at the Salton Sea. The result of inaction at the Salton Sea will be severe. The Pacific Institute has measured the economic impact inaction at over $70 billion in devalued property and other metrics. Rates of asthma and pulmonary conditions will increase significantly. Fish, birds, and other wildlife will continue to die, including endangered species. So I urge the committee quickly advance H.R. 3877 to Salton Sea uh, Projects Improvement Act through this committee and to the full House of Representatives to give the Bureau of Reclamation the tools they need to put shovels in the ground at the Salton Sea. Thank you for your consideration of my legislation, and I yield back.